y'all what's going on i hope everybody is doing fabulous on this gorgeous day what's been up y'all i was sitting here and i was thinking about um you know because i've been on my healthy journey or what have you I, I stay on a journey and like most like me most of you i'm sure stay on a journey as well and i was sitting and i was thinking because you know how you be on social media you know on facebook and stuff most like it on facebook i really don't do i have other accounts instagram stuff like that i'm really not into those that much i mean every once in a while i'll post something but I was just seeing how people was like really just kind of like cracking people down for joining the gym in January and not coming back and all that kind of stuff. And it really kind of irked the crap out of me because I'm just like, you know, I think that's just so, uh, it's kind of like. You know, the saying, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. So don't let that intimidate you. If you're a person that, let's say you, you want to join the gym or, um, you know, what have you, but you've heard people, you know, talking negatively about joining the gym and, you know, in January, February, you can't get any cardio equipment and all that kind of stuff. Don't let that phase you, girl. Go ahead, join that gym if you want to, and do your thing, boo. Because the thing is, is that if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. It's better to continue to try than to not try at all. Because one day you're going to achieve your goal. One day you're going to be able to hang in there and get down to that weight you want to get down to. Or either just do and accomplish some of the things that you really want to do and accomplish as far as your fitness is concerned. For me, I am more about, um, I'm more about, um, getting, um, conditioned than I am losing weight. Of course, I need to lose some weight, y'all, because, yeah. But I'm more so about getting conditioned because I realize that, and I realize that in my, my working out and, and things like that, is that, you know, my heart is beating like so fast and everything. I'm just like, you know what? When is the last time that my heart raced? I mean, that's something to really think about. And right now I'm doing a lot of cardio, but I am doing a lot of strength training. And I'm going to show you all at some point what I'm actually using to do my strength training and my cardio, what I'm using to work out. Because if you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, trust me, honey, you can do this stuff. You really can. It is so simple and so easy. And I have been working at it real hard um, for some weeks now. And I can tell such of a humongous difference in my um, my energy level in my really in my everything I feel great I really do I feel so much better and it had just gotten to the point y'all starting when you get in your 40s and 50s and 60s you don't realize really how much you have just kind of let some things go and I'm not talking about you know as far as like your appearance or anything we keep our appearance up but I think that we forget that our heart needs to pump it is a muscle it needs to be exercised it needs to be pumped and things like that and and getting my heart rate you know my heart's beating really fast i'm like i just really realized when's the last time that my heart was like really beating like this fast you know i mean it's just crazy things things that we don't even really think about but girl, don't let that phase you not one bit. Get it together. You know, I am working on so many things, y'all. I really am. Um, I'm working on a lot of things in my within myself that I want to work on and, and, and just some goals I want to accomplish. And I wouldn't call them New Year's resolutions, but if you want to call them that, then call them that. But every year I make goals for myself. And I make goals for myself. And sometimes I don't get to accomplish everything that i put on my list however you never but a lot of things i do so many things i do and i'm proud of myself for accomplishing those goals and right now it's about me getting fit conditioned uh, my mind conditioned you know um thinking about the things that i want to do what's my next move what's my next step in my career what am I going to do next? Because I don't really know, you know, I'm not working right now, but I don't really know that I'm really just ready to just not work. I find myself at times, even though I have a lot of things to do, I do keep my house. It's a lot of stuff to do when you're not working, but I'm kind of at the point, like, kind of 
feeling like I'm missing the relationships, you know, um, that you develop with people when you are working, um, the relationships, the friendships that develop, you know, the, um, you know, there's the socialization with other people and things like that. The challenging of my mind, the drive, the things like that. I am at this point beginning to kind of miss those things. Um, for those of you that don't know, I quit my job in May of last year and I really am, um, I thank God for being able to do that. I thank God for, you know, blessing me because God has really blessed me, y'all. He really has. He has really blessed me. He's blessed my husband um, in ways I can't even begin to explain. Just a lot of ways. You know, people sometimes when they think about blessings, they think about financially. They think about a lot, you know, materialistic things. And now God has blessed me all with a piece of mind. Like, really, a piece of mind. Just, oh, yeah, a piece that I've never, ever known before. Um, of course, he's blessed us financially, but just a peace of mind. I've been so at peace and so at ease until I wouldn't trade it for anything in this world, for nothing. Because I really, truly... I'm just so happy and so elated that God blessed me to experience a peace of mind. And um, I'm just excited. I'm excited about life. I'm excited about things in general. But I really want to say, don't let anybody steal your joy. You know what I'm saying? Do not let people steal your joy. Do not let anything you see on like the social media networks and stuff like that affect you and your goals you know if you want to go and join a gym because I, I you know I, I've seen it so I know that it's out there I know that those of you that are in your 40s 50s and 60s that may not be as active as a 20 something year old or as a 30 something year old or you know I mean it's not to say that everybody in their 40s and 50s are not physically fit I'm not saying that but like, let's face it a lot of us are not where we need to be so don't let that phase you get up on that horse and go you know what i'm saying no matter who's looking at you in the gym girl get up and go but let me tell you something and i have been going to a gym for years but i really am feeling myself with working out i am i am charged i am like but i've i've you know, through the years, I actually had a lot of things that I purchased for my home in order to work out at home as well. And you don't really need a lot. You really don't need a lot. You will be amazed at the things that you can do. I do want to share a book. I have a review on a book that I'm going to share. Um, it's so much commotion in my house today. Y'all got my grandchildren here, two of them. Um, my son is here. My husband is here. So if y'all hear like guitars playing and people talking and stuff like that it's because it's saturday and i have a house full of people here today um but i felt like filming a video today i haven't filmed a video this year i don't think but i felt like it today so um thanks so much for stopping by my channel let me know what you think have, are you hearing in social media you know people talking about people that haven't been active all year long and things like that i'm just like who cares? You know, you got to start somewhere. So if you feel like you want to go to the gym and join the gym, join the gym and do not let them steal your joy. All right, y'all. So thanks so much for stopping by my channel and I will holla. Peace.